Why? Postal regulations? Yes. Your poster seven right there says I'm allowed to record. So you guys might want to check before you double down on that. Would you like to walk over here and read your own rules and regulations? I'm not going to stop recording. I haven't done anything wrong. You're welcome to get the police if you think you need to. You can go ahead of me, ma'am. You're welcome to go ahead. So, oh, your own rules and regulations say I can, sir. You don't care about the rules of the post office? Your rules clearly state that I'm allowed to. You want me to tear it off? It's behind glass. You want to walk out here? On your poster seven, it says photographs for news and purposes may be taken in public lobbies, foyers, corridors, and auditoriums. I understand that, ma'am, but their own rules and regulations say that I'm allowed to be here. That is out there, dumb butt. Not it, in here. What was that? Dumb butt? I said that's out there, dumb butt. Dumb butt. That's how you talk to the public. And what's your name? What's your name? It's Brad. It's Brad. It's Brad. It's Brad. Okay. I'm, I'm not interfering with anybody. They're bothering me. Is your postmaster coming out? No, the police are coming. The police are coming to escort to our park room. Not a problem, sir. And if recording's not allowed, why are you recording? So obviously it's allowed in public. I can't help their reaction. It was y'all's reaction that made them cry because you guys started spouting off I'm not allowed to be here. Because y'all started spouting off that I'm not allowed to be here. It clearly says you can. No, it's not. It's not what it says. Not a problem. Okay. See, the problem I'm having is your rules and regulations over here clearly state that anywhere that is publicly accessible in here, I'm allowed to record. I'm, a, I'm an independent journalist gathering content for a story. I just came in to get a few shots of the inside of the post office to get a stamp. You've got customers that are upset. Okay, I, I, I understand that, and I'm not trying to cause any problems, but I can't control their reactions. Your own rules say I'm allowed to be in there and record. What's this regarding? What do you mean, what is it regarding? You said you're doing what kind of story? What I, I'm story? just doing a story on the post office. I just came in here to get a few B-roll shots. You do not have to go through. Ma'am, your own rules clearly state. If, will you walk over here and just read the rules with me? Sir, I just came in to get a little bit of footage of the inside of the post office and get a stamp. The first thing I did when I came in was come and just double check the rules and regulations to make sure I wasn't in violation of anything. I just went in there and stood there. I, I didn't even speak to that lady. She started freaking out on me. The gentleman behind the counter told me I'm not allowed to be in there. It clearly states over here. I told him I'd be happy to come out here and speak to the postmaster if the postmaster could come and just help clear this up. Because I mean, their own rules say I'm allowed to be in there. And then, I mean, she started freaking out on me. The gentleman behind the counter. I mean, I understand people are are sketchy with cameras, but I mean. What was your um, reason for video? I just wanted to get some B-roll footage. I'm working on a story um, that I was going to put up on YouTube. I wanted to get a little bit of B-roll. I went out and got the sign out here, the sign up here. I just wanted to get some shots in here while I was grabbing this camp. Okay. Did, they, did they ask you not to do that? They asked me not to record. I told them, sir, your, your policies say that I'm allowed to record here. Does it actually say that you can record? Yeah, it, 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 it says it right here. Um, <laughs> Photographs for news purposes may be taken in entrances, lobbies, corridors, corridors, or auditoriums when used for public meetings, except for a prohibited lobby. Okay. And I mean, that's, that's all I was doing. I wasn't trying to cause a problem. I'm, I'm sorry if it's kids doing this. Is that yelling? Is that screaming or something?
No, they, they started screaming, and then the, the two kids started screaming, so the mom started getting on to me, and I said, I'm sorry if they're upset, man, but I can't control people's reactions, you know? I'm not trying to cause any problems. I just wanted to get some footage and get a stand. Okay. I mean, yeah. I, I don't, and I mean, I, I don't, no. Okay. So. What, what was your name and badge number, sir? I'm Lieutenant Ball. It's a real big ball. Lieutenant Ball. I'm Steven. Nice to meet you. This is the postmaster, I believe. I tried to, to work this out with her with the rules before she well, wasted y'all time by bringing you up here. Uh, what, was your first, what was your name again? My name's Steven. What's your last name? I'm not going to give you that, sir. Well, I'm not trying to be rude. I'm just I'm, I'm, I'm asserting my rights that I have and let well, you suspect me of committing a crime. Well, we, you, you did. You, we're, we're here on official crime. business. I understand that. So and we're allowed to call. investigate, but... Yes, you, but you're also required to have photo ID. If you have a reasonable, articulable suspicion okay. that a crime is afoot, do you have a reasonable, articulable suspicion of committing a crime? Yes, we've had multiple 911 calls that there was a disturbance here, which means that there potentially was a crime. Yeah. That's why I'd be happy to show you the footage that proves oh, that no problem. Okay, right. I understand that, sir, and I'm, I'm like, I promise you, I'm not trying to give you a hard time with this. It's just principle. I have a Fourth Amendment right to not show my ID unless I'm suspected of committing a crime. You, and you are. You're I have not caused a disturbance. Disorderly, disorderly. I have not been disorderly, sir. I can't, I can't control okay, other people's well, reactions. Let me talk. Okay. You just said uh, you're only required to give me uh, your ID if you're suspected. If there's reasonable articulable and suspicion. And if you're suspected. But what? You are suspected of causing a disorderly. But what's your articulable suspicion? Because somebody says so. I can say she just broke into my car. That's calls. not suspicion. Yeah, and most people will give them our ID. I, I understand that. By law, you're people... required to have photo ID. Are you over no, 18? No, you're not. Tennessee does not no. require Are you over 18? That. I am over 18. Okay, sir. so you are required Tennessee does not require child. having a photo ID. You okay. do not have to have a photo identification. Sir. I'm okay. not, I promise you, I'm not trying to be difficult, but I haven't broken a crime. All I did was okay. go in there. I was what's the as far as that? To be videoed or be on film, we are supposed to get approval through our media. Okay. If it's commercial, it clearly states right there that's not accurate, ma'am. I just have to go by what she's saying. Yeah, she's supposed to be right here, right? You okay, are so are you saying that you don't follow your own Poster 7 rules? Are you familiar with Poster 7? I'm not saying that, sir. I'm just telling you, if you okay. get video taped in the post office, it has to get through our media department. Okay, but that's not what your rules say. So are your rules incorrect or are you incorrect? Because I'd like to get to the bottom of it because I don't want to get in trouble for doing something that, as far as I'm understanding, I'm allowed to do. I mean, it says right there I'm allowed to do that. So if you're telling me I'm not, I'd, li I'd like to get some clarification. And I told you I was, I told you I'm an independent journalist gathering content for a story. I went in there to get a few shots. It doesn't matter what story. I'm just doing a story on the post office. Okay. I mean, now it's kind of just how the post office employees are treating me. I mean, that guy called me a dumb butt in there multiple times, I, and I don't think that's appropriate for somebody who who isn't doing anything wrong, who's following the own post well, office's rules. Either way, but we're just trying to figure well, I agree that, that but I mean, there's a way to go about it, ma'am. And oh. I guess I'm confused why I'm being told that I'm not allowed to do this without permission when it says I can't right there. She just explained it to no, me. No, she did not. Is that wrong then? Is, is this is this right here incorrect? Because right here it says photographs for news purposes may be taken in entrances, lobbies, foyers, corridors, or auditoriums when used for public meetings, except where prohibited by official sign. What's the first word of that? Photographs. Your video. Big difference. Uh, photographs is the same thing. You're up, if you have an updated version, this is your 2007 poster 7. If you have your updated version, it says video explicit. Photographs. If you look at your updated version, it explicitly says video. If you don't know if I was taking photographs or not, I don't understand. It, it clearly says you tell right me there, you're making a video, that. sir. It says I'm allowed to do that, man. I, I don't, what's the problem? I was going to get my stamp. I would have been gone 10 minutes ago until your employees started telling me I'm not allowed to do something that's a constitutionally protected activity. I mean, we have freedom of press in the United States. I don't understand what the problem is. You guys have 25 cameras here. You didn't ask for my permission to record, and you don't have to. So why is it such a big deal when I bring mine in there? Especially when you will say it. That's what I don't understand. I mean, am I being unreasonable? Sir, this is... You know, this is basically almost like a federal building type thing, post office. Is I federal. understand. So th this is this is their rules. She's the postmaster, so she's telling you that okay. you can't do it, okay. and you need to leave. 
That's out of our jurisdiction. Okay. We're just here to keep the peace. That's okay. not how they so, explain to you. Right, and I policy. and you guys have been awesome. I I really appreciate you guys being respectful. I understand that if if she is telling me that I'm not allowed to be here recording, which is in clear violation of poster seven right here, I will I will leave. But there there's going to be repercussions because your own rules say I'm allowed to be here. Someone You're kicking a member of the public out for for following your own post office regulations. You're kicking a member of the public out. I have business here, and you're kicking me out. I haven't broken a law. Hey, I didn't. You, you did your business? I, I never got a chance to get a stamp. The moment I got in there, they started screaming at me. I just wanted to get a stamp, get so, a couple shots in there, you want him to leave now? and get out of here. The, the biggest problem I had, we had a person in there, the small child that was having a panic attack, and there was, it was chaos. Yeah, I've already talked office. to them, so we're, and, we're good. And, and, like, I just want you guys to know, I, I did not say anything. I didn't point the camera towards them. They were reacting because of the post office employees' reactions. That's why yeah, they got upset. This is a public building? It, exactly. The key word there is public. I'm allowed to be here. If I'm allowed to be here, I'm allowed to film. You can't trespass somebody's eyes. If I can see it, I can record it. That's how the law works. That's how the Constitution works. So if you're telling me that it's illegal for me to be in here, in here videotaping, like I said, even though it's in violation of your poster seven rules, I will leave under protest. But I don't think that's right. I think it would probably be a good idea. I'm, if, if, I'm requesting you to leave just because you were disruptive. Okay, well, you, you can request. I didn't, I didn't disrupt anything. They were being disruptive. Sorry, they got multiple calls. And I was getting people people can call over calls. anything, man, just because I can't control people's okay. reactions. Well, well, at the end of the so, day, she's asked you to leave okay, because it, of the disruption. I understand that. So I would like to go get my stamp. Can I go get my stamp? And then I'll be out of here. Sure. Okay. All right. Anything else? Okay, and what was your name and badge number again? Lieutenant Ball. Okay, thank you for very much. You've been very professional. What was your name and badge number? Sergeant Madron. Sergeant Madron. Madron, thank you very much. And your name? My name's Sharon. Sharon, can you flip your tag over so I can see your last name? I'd appreciate it if you're the postmaster. It's blocked. My name's what? Sharon Lawson, sir. Sharon Lawson. Lawson, okay. Okay, so I'm good to go get a stamp and then I'll be out of your I hair. I prefer that you don't video with me. Okay, you well, I mean, you can prefer lots of things. It, if, if I'm being threatened with arrest, if I take it in there, I won't take it in there. But I'd like to just go buy my stamp and film the, in, the interaction like I'm allowed and I'll be on my way. You have failed yet to tell me why you're videoing. I, I have explained that multiple times. I am gathering content for a story. Independent journalists don't have to explain what they're doing to people. I'm gathering content for a story. That's it. No ill will, no no nefarious purposes. I'm just gathering content. Okay, thank you. Thank you, officers. I appreciate your help. How you doing? Can I help you with something? Not necessary. Just taking a little video, gathering some content. Hmm? Just gathering some content. For what? Uh, for my personal use. I need to see your ID if you're photographing on Billy's property. Uh, this is open to the public, right? open to the public but it's also a restricted area. Is there a sign outside that says it is? No. Then well, how is... You're in a police department. Yeah, I'm in the lobby though. That's right, and I have to identify who you are. Um, I don't think you do. Station 18, LV8. Can you state the law where I said it has, I have to? I need you 1725. Can you state the law where I have to show you ID? Officers on the way. Okay, thank you. Village policy is if you're in here, you're identified. Yeah, but your policy don't trump the Constitution, right? Uh, policy trumps a lot of things because of what's in here. Not the Constitution of the United States. You're not allowed to photograph in here, sir. Okay, well you should have signs here that says that I can't. Right? Watch out, please. Policy. How you doing? Right. Not too bad. What's going on today? I'm um, nothing. Just uh, doing a little video, gathering content on uh, the, the uh, department. Okay. What's the reason for that? Uh, for my personal use. Personal use. Yes, sir. You seem like you're a little shaken up. Shaking oh, a little bit. It's a little, bit. little chilly. 
A little chilly, that's why you're shaking? Yeah. Not nervous or anything? <laughs> why would I be nervous? I don't know. Well, unfortunately, sir, I need to get your information. Ah, uh, well, for what? Have well, I committed a crime? Well, you actually were just inside the police department with a camera and you can't do that. Is there a policy or uh, a sign that says you're not allowed to video inside the lobby? Well, as far as uh, everybody's safety that works here, yeah, I gotta get your information. Now. I don't think I have to give that information. Why is that? Because it's my constitution right. Constitutional right? Yes, sir. Oh, yeah? Okay. Well, like I said, unfortunately, I am gonna need your information. Okay, well, I respectfully decline to give you that. Okay, sir, what's your name? I respectfully decline to give that as well. You can call me good citizen, though. I call you good citizen? Yes, sir. Okay. Is this your vehicle here? No. It's not? No. There's uh, a few people inside talking to the dispatcher. That's why I'm out here. You're out here because somebody's in there talking to the dispatcher? Yes, sir. Do you know the person that's talking to the dispatcher? No. No? That the person inside? They happened to come in here as I was inside. Okay, so you're not here with them then? No. So where are, you, where are you from? Um, I'm not from around here. No? No. So what brings you here? Just, like I said, just uh, doing a little story, gathering some content. Doing a little story. So what what brings you here versus anywhere else? Oh, I've been to a few places. Have you? Yeah. Where all you been? Oh, uh, all around. Yeah. What's your name, sir? Officer Sinicola. Okay. Badge number? Eight. Eight, go ahead. LV1 advises if he refuses information, get your body cam on, get a good video of him so we can ID him later. Copy. Sorry for the shaking, guys. A little chilly. You're entering my space, sir. Can you please back up? Sir, you're in my personal space. Could you please back up? Eight to 18. I got a pretty good visual of his face. This gold Jeep out front, that's whoever's inside already? Yeah, that's the one parked over in your spot. I have a handicapped individual in here. Come on guys, hit the like button. Share this all over. We got a fail here. You familiar with the uh, First Amendment, sir? You uphold the law? That's right, Chris. <laughs> All right, I'm not gonna throw any more names out. Here he comes again. So can I ask you something? Where, where does it say that I am not allowed to video inside the lobby? You refusing to answer me? Yeah, I'm, I'm gonna stay in the public area. What do you guys? What do you guys? 
Do you, do you just do San Diego County stuff here? Only San Diego County. Okay. All right, thank you. What's that? You can't be videotaping the cabinets or any of that. Yeah, I can, I can film anything I can see from a public place. If I can see it with my eyes, I can film and it. I just don't want you to make anybody uncomfortable. Well, I mean, you can just let them know everything's fine. Because the customers are getting uncomfortable. Okay. Well, that's not my responsibility. Yeah, but I, I can't control them. how they feel. I don't want them to be uncomfortable, so. Well, that's, like I said, that's not my responsibility. To, to make them comfortable or uncomfortable. Yeah, well, I just don't want you to be videotaping, like, that stuff is not public stuff. It's our stuff. I well, like I said, if I can see it, I can film it. So I'm just doing a little little video tour of the place. Well, this right here, you can see it, but you can't film it because this is private stuff. Well, that's for you guys to make private. Yeah. If and you guys leave it out on the open counter, if I can see it with my eyes, there's no difference. So you don't see our so, I mean, what if I had a photographic memory? I can remember every name on that list. Same thing, right? No difference. Not working. What are you doing? Sir. Hello? Ooh, hey. What are you doing, sir? Are you talking to me? Yeah. I'm just taking video. Of who? Of anything I can see in public. For what? What purpose? For my purpose. What was your name? Are you my are my you name's you? Laura, but you can't. Uh? Are you refusing for him to videotape? Yeah, me? I don't want him videotaping me. So you're you, going to ask you to leave. You work for the public, right? Yes, but that doesn't mean you can videotape me. Yeah, it does. I don't want you videotaping me. So I don't approve of you videotaping or anybody. Yeah. Well, you guys are, you guys are all in a public area, so. Yes, but you're people are not wanting to do that, though. You but if you, get, if you guys want privacy, you gotta, yes. you gotta go to your house and close the blinds and. Hey, sir, I'm asking you to leave now. Get him You're gonna have to. For what reason? I do not approve of you videotaping me. I don't need approval. Sir, I do not approve of you videotaping me. Hey, sir. You're you making everyone feel uncomfortable. They're asking you for information, so please leave. Well, leave for what reason? Because it's uncomfortable for everyone else. Well, there, let me ask you this. Does, does their comfort trump my rights? No. Okay, so. You're making everyone feel uncomfortable, yeah. so I'm well, going like, to ask you to leave. Well, their feelings don't trump my rights. Their, this is so, their private information. I'm not filming their private information. You can listen you into can my listen private information. You can listen into the conversation after recording. Yeah, you're recording it. She you asked you not to I record. Not. I'm asking you not to record me either. I don't give you permission to record me. I don't need permission. You're you're a, you're a county worker. If if you want to work in the private sector, you can go work somewhere else. I I'm not I'm not asking I'm not. Giving Plus, you guys you guys are all under surveillance anyways. There's 20 cameras that you walk past when you well, came in. This is the state of California. Okay. I trust them with my information. Do I trust you with my information? Yeah, Absolutely okay. Do you trust California with your information? Sir, we're going to call the, the we're calling the, the um, police right now. You can call them if you want to, yeah. but I have every right to be here. Hey, Andrea, that client this felt is a constitutionally... fear for her safety. I went to walk her to her vehicle. Okay. She said she wanted her stuff because she feared for her safety. From a, from a camera? When you guys have 20 cameras located all over the building? Oh, it's allied again. Yep. Sir, please leave. You guys have been known Can you leave? for corruption. Sir, please. I'm asking you nicely. Can you please leave? But for what reason? Can you please leave? Are you asking me to leave because I'm videotaping? Can you please leave? Well, I asked you a question. Sir, please. Can are you, you leave? Are you just asking me Sir, to leave? I'm asking you to leave. For videotaping. Can you Sir, please we leave? We had a customer that feared for her safety, so we are asking you to leave. Well, her fears and her feelings don't trump my rights, ma'am. Sure. You're conducting yes. I'm not raising my voice. I'm not doing anything but videotaping. If you, if you guys can actually just leave me alone and let me do it, that'll be fine. Well, their wants don't trump my rights. If I said, I, I, don't, I don't want you to wear that shirt to work ever again, does, do I have a right to enforce that? Okay. My wants can't be enforced because they're not law. Okay, we're calling the 
police right now. Probably law enforcement. I wasn't saying anything to anybody. I'm not raising my voice. No, you weren't. You were just making, feel, making everyone feel uncomfortable. Well, their comfort does not trump my rights. I'm sorry if yeah, you feel that way. Serve our public and make them feel safe. But what, what, what does the law state? How about us serving the public? Does, does the law state that people have their rights or their feelings are more important? I already told you. You're, you're asking again. me to leave because of people's... You're asking me to leave because of people's feelings, not because I've broken any law. Because they feel unsafe. Well, like I said, I can't control their feelings. But that doesn't make it law. Okay, I already have law enforcement on their way. And when they get there, they're going to educate you on the First Amendment of the Constitution. You, you know what the First Amendment says, right? About filming in government offices? He doesn't know, he doesn't tell us why he's filming you. I don't need to tell you why he's filming. He's filming you, he says you guys are in the public area, so he can film you. Yeah, but it's our personal information, like my address and I've got that information. I don't want him taking that. You have to create privacy, man. You have no expectation of privacy in public. Certified documents with personal information. Okay, we have and, a right to privacy. And that's your responsibility to keep them private. By asking you to show off the camera, that's exactly what I'm doing. You guys think I haven't done this before? Filmed in a government office? You guys think that I haven't talked to law enforcement before? Just remember that you're calling law enforcement, not feeling enforcement. There's a big difference. If you want to call feeling enforcement, go ahead, but. What's your name? I didn't give it. Can I ask you what your name is? You can ask. But I don't work for the public, so I have no obligation to give anybody my name. What's your name? Security guard. What was your name? It's Allied Security Policy for you guys to identify when asked. Sorry, sir, but I'm not going to give you my name. You're refusing your name? All right, I'll find it out. Find out plenty of names of security, especially from Allied. How are you doing? Good. Can I ask you to step outside, please? Can I have your name and badge number? Sure. Please? Eric Cravener, badge 289. Can you step outside for me? Your please? name and badge number? Uh, it's David Guillen, uh, badge number 404. Okay. Why am I being asked to step outside? Because you're recording inside a place that has records for personal private information. This is a public office, though. It is a public office, but the problem is that you're recording with things that are out in plain view with people's records and stuff. I'm not recording and anybody's records. Else. Well, I don't know how much. And it's, you a, it's view. up to them to keep their records private, not me. And they ask you to leave, so they're keeping their. But they're the they're only private. asking me to leave because I'm videotaping, Correct. which is protected under the you're, First Amendment. You're not doing business here, so the Public this, Records Act says that you cannot record other people's private information, their transactions. I'm not. I'm not recording any transactions or private information. Are you recording sound? What's that? Are you recording sound? I am recording sound. Then the voice is carried. Which is correct. absolutely fine if you're in a public forum. Okay. So I'm asking you to step outside for me so we can discuss this. We can discuss it right here. I'm not doing anything wrong. Sir, you step outside, please. And your name and if, is? And if I don't step and your outside, name is? What, are you, what are you going to do to me? And your name is? Are you going to use violence against me? And your name is? I didn't give it. I, have I broken any laws? I'm asking you for your name. Okay. Well, maybe I'll give it to you if you answer my questions because you serve the public. Mm -hmm. Have I broken any laws? You're trying, you're getting information from people who don't want to give you their what information. What law is that? What law is that? It's, yeah. a, it's a 415 disturbance. And what, what qualifies to be a public disturbance? Am I yelling? 
right now. Am I fighting? You're, you're disturbing people. They feel uncomfortable with you being here recording them while they're doing their okay, but you in, guys, interactions and, and transactions. You guys can't say I'm disturbing officials. the peace unless it's one of three things, correct? What are one of the three things? Fighting, uh, yelling, noise disturbance, which I'm not doing. I've never raised my voice in here, not once. And using vulgar language or words to provoke, to provoke fighting which I've done none of those three things. So 415 does not apply to me at all. Mm -hmm. okay. Do you agree or do you disagree? No, I fully understand the law. So you guys are law enforcement, right? Mm -hmm. So their feelings are not law. So if I felt like if my feelings were disrupted by that guy's shirt, would you ask him to leave the building? I'm not going uh, go to go into... But that's my feelings, you. right? That's my feelings theoretical. don't matter. No, they're worried about their public information getting out into and I let them know somebody else. None of their private out. information was recorded. Well, how do we know that? Because I don't know how much zoom you have on that camera. I don't know what sounds you're recording. Well, they have iPhone, to talk so to the officials here as they go through it all. You kind of know what kind of zoom I have on this I don't iPhone. know. I don't know anything about iPhones. Okay. I don't have one. Well, there's not good and zoom. And you also on have it. a GoPro on also, so I don't yeah. know how much that is Which either. Which doesn't zoom at all. I have no idea. So this I, is, they, they have multiple versions of GoPro, so this, and some of them yeah. do zoom. Well, I'm telling you right now, this doesn't well, I, zoom do I, do I Do I have to believe what you say? No, you don't have to okay, believe anything. Okay, so do, are you going to show me what you see? No, you're not going to. So, so here, the issue is, here, how do I know that? We're here and to I know enforce, that these do pick up sound. Of course they do, just like your body camera in here. Correct. But the issue is, is that right now, I'm just asking you to step outside so we can conduct business outside. But I'm not done this. taking my video yet. What's that? I'm not done taking my video. So, have the officials here ask you to leave? Have they asked me to leave? Mm -hmm. Under what grounds did they ask me That's to leave? That's not what I asked. I said, did they ask you to leave? I'm not going to answer any questions. Okay, right the now. answer is yes. So, I've already talked to the security guard, and, and I'm going to talk to some other employees here in a second here. So, we'll go from there. Okay, but if I don't want to leave, then what's going to happen? Well, we'll figure that one out next. So, so you, know, I mean, you, I, you want an answer I right now, I'm not going to give you I an answer I can't be right trespassed from a public forum. <clears throat> for not breaking any laws. I haven't broken not one law. Well, we're gonna figure out if, what, if it's a law or a policy or whatever else we need to, to deal with here, and we'll work well, that what, out. What so. policy are you gonna look into? Sir, that's what? what I just told you, I'm gonna research it, okay? okay. Well, so that's what we're gonna go with. So we're gonna, at this time, we're gonna basically uh, so there, figure I mean, out there, what's going to happen next, okay? There but you're not, you're not voluntarily gonna leave, then well, we will figure to, out just the Just like many of these people have to leave. I don't, I don't see why anybody should have to leave in here if they're not breaking any laws. Do you, do you see anybody else here recording anybody else? I don't know, they all have phones in their hands. We can't, we can't assume they are or they aren't. I don't know if his camera is on. I don't see that guy. I don't see this lady. I don't see that lady. I've seen plenty of people with their phones in their hands. Okay. Are they are they wanting to go forward with the citizens or, you know, we'll figure it out. So I'm going to talk to them first. Time. Oh, okay. Yeah. Well, let me ask you this. If I have to leave under threat of arrest, I will. Okay. But that's only under threat of arrest. Okay. But I'm going to find out. I haven't broken any walls. Yeah, we're gonna find I'm not out. zooming in on people's papers, you know. I'm actually here to do uh, a video documentary of the of the facility. Okay. It's an Did old you get everything building. that you needed so far? Or? Um, I'm not sure. I mean, is there a time limit on I'm just, just public wondering. photography? I'm wondering if you have a plan as far as how long you'd like to be here. Well, I, I shouldn't be limited. I didn't say that. I'm just asking I mean, if you have a plan. Like, normally if you're gonna go out and do some Shooting, you have like a projected. Of course, some people do. Okay, like it's a lobby shot, right? So how long does that take? I couldn't tell you. I mean, it could be. I mean, some scenes in in movies take fourteen hours for one one scene. So. Do you anticipate it being fourteen hours that you need to shoot the lobby? Honestly, I don't. Okay. It's not going to be fourteen so less hours. Less than fourteen. Okay. Less than fourteen hours. Right. I'm not here to disturb anybody. No, I'm just wondering, like, what. I'm not. I would said anything like you're getting arrested or anything like that i'm just wondering what your plan is yeah like, well i mean he mentioned 415 which i know is disturbance and yeah there's I've that not once raised my voice yeah. she even said it she even told me as soon as i walked in yeah. let me find out if it's okay for you to video into yeah it. that's fine and she said nobody's yelling at you or anything like that yeah she said it's absolutely okay okay i think once it gets to the point where somebody calls the police we just have to try to start figuring out uh, no i understand you know, why you guys came you guys were yeah. called for service 
That's fine. Right. But what needs to happen is you need to let the employees know that I haven't broken a law. But we don't know that yet. So right. well, the, way it works for, the way it works for at least for private areas and for businesses and what we're probably going to have to evaluate for this is if you have asked somebody to leave and then they refuse like your property, then they can do what's called a citizen's arrest. Yeah, yeah, that's for, private like, property. Well, it's not just private property. It can be businesses and other types of property too. So we need to figure out whether that applies here. It doesn't. Uh, we're not, we might have to look that up. Well, I, I know it doesn't. Oh, really? I've, I've been in plenty of state, federal, city buildings. That doesn't necessarily I was in the a, police station over here. I was in city hall. That doesn't necessarily make you a legal expert because you've been in public I'm not saying I'm a legal not, expert by any means. Right. You know I'm so, saying I've been in plenty of buildings, the exact same county buildings, just like this one, and there was never a problem. But different day, different location, different set of circumstances. These people yeah. might wish to seek prosecution for a trespass, in which case you would be subjected to that penal code. Well, I have to be warned for trespass first. You have to be what? I wasn't. I wasn't ever warned. I, I've never been given a trespass warning. Okay. Right. So, I mean, if you guys want to go down the trespass road, we can do that. You can give me a trespass warning. Yeah. You know, I'll leave. So nobody, nobody here asked you to leave so far. I'm not going to answer that question. Oh, okay. What was What's your that? name back there? Officer Mahanti, M A H A N T Y, three four seven. Thank you. You got it. How about your name? I didn't give it. I know. Oh, I can. It's quite an interesting documentary. Yeah. Okay. So, um, sir, this is the uh, employee right now who's in charge of this okay. location. So She's asking you if you want to film from this location on. That's fine. If you go past this desk area, it now becomes into private business interaction with government officials that you are not allowed to film in right now. So from this point on, you can be sent by the so water you're... cooler to the to the, the area right there. You can film. Okay, so you're telling me I can't film public officials? I'm telling you per her policy, she, you're now interacting with government officials and private citizens I'm, I'm not, and filming their area because you can zoom in and you can record sound. You're interacting with their transactions and that's not allowed per her policy. So we're going to cut it off from right here. You can be in this lobby area, but no further. This is, this is all lobby area. That's why they're seating no, over there. These are all, these are all desks. And table counters that they do transactions on. Well, why are those, where are those people sitting? Over there? They're waiting to transact as they're going up right now. Just no, no, but where are, they, where are they sitting right now? Well, they're not filming. I think While they're waiting. So the only problem is filming in public. That's what you're They're invading on people's privacy. So they're, I'm not. They're, they're in a public forum. They have no... They have there's no, an expectation of privacy if they're talking about their own business to a, a clerk who's helping them with their own private stuff. Nobody has the right to go up and listen to what they're saying. It's I'm not. I didn't go up and listen to what anybody's saying. But if you're filming, I didn't approach you're anybody in this room. And video and sound, which means you can zoom in on their transactions. Well, let me tell you. If I get anybody's personal information, I always delete it. Don't know that. You can't. You don't have to I can't know that, though. that. So can I have your personal information? Do you have no. any reason to have it? There you go. Point yeah. made. But you know why? Expectation of privacy. But you know, okay, it's not an expectation. If I, if I sit here and I wear my driver's license on my shirt, I can't tell people not to look. But you've publicly put it there. What do you mean publicly put it there? Such they're as, such as they're I, publicly I bringing their clerk, information. If I'm doing business with a clerk, I expect my business to be with the clerk and me, and that's it. I don't want other people around me to know everything that I'm doing, right? So well, they can, they can utilize a, a private room if they feel it's so private. You you have that option in these places because I've done it before. Just to accommodate you, like no, this is place. Well, to, I mean, the way that they run their lobby and their so you, business. So is you're up saying to them, you're saying you. my First Amendment is limited to accommodate them on their feelings, but not my rights. You're limiting they're, my they're rights. Their feelings? No, their expectations. They don't have any expectation of privacy in public. So either or. So you so. will. Uh, Press four with a trespass if he, if he steps into the lobby more. Okay, is that all clear, sir? So you're telling me if I walk past, is there a line? I mean, can right here, this, yeah. this, this line, this desk right here. Can they? So that, that area right there. Is, so is so I can go stand by that chair, but right? yep. that's not a line. I mean, that's kind of. You all good? You can go here, you can go there. Yeah, I'm fine. Awesome. All right. Well, uh, we look forward to watching your documentary. So on your, on your, threat, on your threat of arrest, I'll remain in this area. Perfect. We appreciate your cooperation, sir. All right. Have Thank a good you. rest of your day. Thank you, sir. You too.